Awesome. We'd like to welcome Akshay Batia into the Wyndham Championship press conference room, uh, making his third career start here. Can you talk a little bit about being back home and having a home game here and what your game plan is for the week? It's obviously very nice. Um, we drove here yesterday. We brought our dogs for the week, so it's it's nice. It's a very home feeling event. Uh, obviously, have a little bit of experience here, and um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the week. I mean, it's kind of a nice, little relaxing event for me versus trying to secure any sort of points or card. It's just kind of go go wheel it and uh, hopefully have a good week. Speaking of that, this is your first PGA Tour stop since winning uh, the Barracuda Championship two weeks ago. Can you talk a little bit about your emotions from that and how you celebrated? Yeah, a ton of emotions. I mean, I've, I was on cloud nine for about seven days, so it was pretty, pretty surreal. Uh, just all the emotions that went into that week of that putt going in and then going back to the playoff, riding in that cart. I mean, my heart just was pretty normal and then I get back on that tee and I'm like here we go this is it you know this is my opportunity and um yeah just un unreal experience uh to get it done and it's nice uh coming to a home event because I know I'll have a little bit you know more of a fan base now which is which is nice open up for questions actually you you mentioned that coming back coming here in previous years trying to make the cut doing all these things does your mentality or attitude change now that you've, you've won, you've kind of cleared that hurdle? And um, is there a sense of validation to that? I mean, there were people who questioned what you were doing, and now you've, you know, you've gotten your, you got special temporary, now you've won. It, you know, n once you get the pandemic behind you, it seems like everything's kind of started to roll. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm a very different player than I was when I was 18, I think 18 and 19. So it's a, it's a different feeling. I mean, I don't think my mindset changes. I obviously want to go out and play good golf and have a good week and earn my spot into the playoffs uh, next week. But I think it's a little more freeing. You know, I, I know how to do it. I have done it. I know the emotions that go into it. I know the stories I can tell myself, and it doesn't matter uh, the day before. So I think I just have a really good team around me. I have a great caddy now, and uh, we've just kind of finalized everything as far as our prep work, and it's it's paid off. Sure, maybe four years ago you had a plan to get to the point you're at today where you're a PGA Tour winner and all that, but to get from point A to point B, was it a lot different road than you thought? I mean, I didn't know what to think when I was 17. It was just the coolest thing to play PGA Tour events and travel the world and um, get courtesy cars. I mean, you got so many perks out here, right? So I, uh, I don't know how I could explain my journey, you know, with the pandemic and being 17, couldn't rent cars, and then playing Corn Ferry Tour, winning, then hurting myself. So it was just a lot of different things went on that I wouldn't have imagined that would happen. But for it to happen now at 21 with special temporary membership, everything that went on this year is uh, it's pretty gratifying. You knew Caddy. <clears throat> Can you tell us a little bit more about that relationship, how it started, and how it's helped you elevate your game and get that first win? Yeah, I mean, I started working. My caddy's name is Brian Dilley. Uh, he um, he worked for Aaron Wise for a while. A couple other guys had a lot of success. He's caddied for pretty much. He's caddied for 20 years, and I'm 21, so he's caddied pretty <laughs> much as long as I've been alive. And uh, he's just. Uh, He's a different person, you know, he, he's very direct, he's very smart, we don't make mistakes like I have in the past, and uh, I think that was kind of the missing piece for me, just having someone who could help me, you know, not make mistakes or or guide me around a little more and, and kind of free up, and he, he believes so much in, in my abilities, and it's definitely never easy uh, for a caddy to, to help me because I hit so many different shots, and I can I can explain how I'm going to do it, but it still can be... It could just go right over the top of your head how how I'm gonna hit the shot. But he he's gotten the hang of it really quick and um you know, John Rom's caddy Adam Hayes is has been a big influence uh for him. They're great buddies and, and for me. I've I've looked up to John, you know, the last couple of years, getting to know him, getting to play a couple of practice rounds with him and Adam's been a, a big help in, in this process for me. Akshay, um you played here at Sedgefield um as a junior at the AJGA invitational. Um, how did playing at a PGA Tour venue as an amateur golfer prepare you for the last few years and also for this week here? I mean, I think any time you get a chance to play a golf course where the PGA Tour players get to play, it was uh, pretty cool. I mean, they treat us just like 
the member or PGA Tour players. So just being able to have access to the clubhouse and kind of be in the locker room with all your friends and and uh, just kind of play a similar setup it was really nice. I mean, I, got, I was fortunate to play a couple PGA Tour venues in the AJGA with like PGA National and and here obviously. So um, it's nice getting you know more familiar as a junior when you get out here. Then it's not as oh here what do we go or where what do we do here so. Uh, going off of that, knowing what you know now, what would one thing you could go back and tell your junior self? Like when I turn pro or before I turn pro? Uh, before. Before I turn pro? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's very hard. I, I felt like in junior golf I was, I was always kind of number one in my class, and I felt like I was so good that it was going to be easy coming out here, but it really isn't. I mean, you have to do so many – you have to work so hard to get out here. Uh, so when I turned pro, I felt like I was ready, but I really wasn't, and I've really realized that. But, yeah, it's just different. I mean, you got to not practice as much as, like, as much as you want as a kid. You got to really, you know, take care of your body. And I think if I would if I would have done that a little earlier as, you know, 15-, 16-year-old, I think maybe I, I wouldn't have got hurt last year. But, you know, all hindsight, right? Actually, I'd like to circle back to uh, the dogs. You know to, that you brought them. What kind of dogs do you ever do? You get to travel with them? Are they yours, your family's dogs, or can you tell us a little bit about them? Yeah. So my girlfriend and I, we have two golden doodles. It's they're pretty much my parents' dogs now because they watch them most of the weeks that we're gone. And on the Corn Ferry Tour, we were able to travel with them a little bit more. But on the PGA Tour, it's a little tougher. Just you know, with so much, so many more things going on on the golf course with with a lot more people and um so logistically it ha hasn't been as easy but this week it's it's great because we have we're staying with a couple other players they brought their dog and uh they're just having a ton of fun so it's nice coming home and kind of being like a, a daycare for them what are their names tori and goose going back a few years you were one of the first mcconnell golf scholars can you talk a little bit about that when you got it and what that meant to you in your development yeah, I mean, I was very fortunate to get that scholarship. I mean, he offers junior golfers, uh, you know, they're able to go play at some country clubs, which is great, and he owns so many now. Like, you could go wherever, you just call, and, and you could go play. And I was very fortunate to get that. You know, I when we came here, I grew up five minutes from a golf course um, from my parents' house, but – to get to that next level, I was able to start playing with a couple of PGA Tour players, a couple of Corn Ferry players as a 15-, 16-year-old. So it was definitely nice. And now I'm an honorary member at, at Wakefield Plantation, which is very special because um, they've kind of treated me like family. And, and to have that when I come back and not worry about, you know, where am I going to practice or where I'm going to play is, is a nice feeling. Take a few more. All good? say that being out here just requires a lot of hard work what are the sacrifices that go with that besides like your time obviously yeah so I would say you know schedule wise you have to re be really smart about it I mean from working out to eating to sleeping I mean you got to sacrifice a lot like I'm a kid still so I'm, I always want to be on my phone when I'm <laughs> when I'm going to bed but I got to realize you know I got to go to bed at 9 30 and I got to wake up. I got to make sure I eat, you know, a certain amount of calories. There's so many things that go on when you're out here because you're playing four or five weeks in a row. You're traveling everywhere and anywhere. So it's just, um, you know, you sacrifice a little bit of the fun part of, you know, going to see some cities or, or whatever it may be. And you just got to really um, just be disciplined in, in everything you do. Great. Thanks so much, Akshay. Good luck this week. Thank you.